evening. It's Wednesday. Welcome to our daily prayers. Let's be still in God's presence. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Every week in college, I post a scripture for the week in Microsoft Teams. And during our weekly prayer time, Oasis, I reflect on it. So I'm going to share some of those with you this week. Our verse today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 20. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. After the crucifixion of Jesus, the disciples are numb, lost, frightened and hiding behind locked doors, fearful that they will be next to be captured by the Romans and executed for being friends with Jesus. To add to their confusion, Mary had arrived on Easter morning, banging on the door saying Jesus was alive. In those days, the testimony of women didn't count for anything. The disciples don't know what to believe. And then suddenly, Jesus is there among them as if it is the most natural thing in the world. He uses the traditional Jewish greeting, Shalom, peace be with you. Can you imagine their stunned disbelief? It's only when he shows them his hands and his side that the disciples begin to believe their eyes. The resurrection has meant a transformation into a new sort of physicality, one that can pass through locked doors one which contains the old body with the wounds within it. But going far beyond that, this is a body which somehow lives in earth and heaven simultaneously. The beginning of the new creation. Jesus says, peace be with you. He breathes on them with the Holy Spirit and commissions them. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Now the disciples believe the resurrection, but they still don't seem to understand the significance. It doesn't seem to change them all that much because we read that a week later, they are still hiding behind locked doors. They certainly don't seem to have convinced Thomas of the resurrection. He had seen Jesus dead and buried. How could he believe that Jesus is alive? But just because Thomas hasn't seen Jesus, it doesn't mean that Jesus is not risen. And as we read a week later, the, as the disciples are together with Thomas, with the doors still locked, Jesus appears among them, bringing peace into their uncertainty. He invites Thomas to put his hands into his wounds and encourages him to stop doubting and believe. When Thomas sees Jesus, immediately he believes. Thomas travels from doubt to belief to faith. And Thomas was honest about his doubts. In some ways, doubt is part of our journey of faith. The Christian life is a journey, it's not a destination. The good news for us today is that Jesus is risen. The new life of Christ has broken into our world. He cannot be contained, nor restricted, nor managed. All that we need to do is respond in faith and receive the gift of that life. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. Some silence now. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and those you love wherever they may be and remain with you always. Amen.